Everyone's favorite film slash music slash interactive festival held in Austin is back. South by Southwest is starting up next weekend and I'm giving you a list of some of the movies you might enjoy. First off is the movie Neighbors, starring Seth Rogen, Zac Efron, Rose Byrne, Christopher Mintz Plas, and Dave Franco. This comedy centers on a young couple who suffer from arrested development and are forced to live next to a fraternity house after the birth of their newborn baby. Now, based on Seth Rogen's most recent hit, This Is The End, I'm expecting this one to be pretty hilarious. And from the obvious eye candy, Zac Efron and Dave Franco, the humor and the trailer that I have wa watched about amount of times, I don't think you want to miss this one. It premieres Saturday, March 8th at the Paramount Theater. And next up, the movie Chef. I am so freaking excited about this one, and mainly because of all the all-star cast. Robert Downey Jr., Scarlett Johansson, Sofia Vergara, Dustin Hoffman, John Favreau, and more. When chef Carl Casper, John Favreau, suddenly quits his job at a prominent Los Angeles restaurant, he teams up with his ex-wife, Sofia Vergara, his friend, John Leguizamo, and his son, MJ Anthony, to launch a food truck. Taking to the road, chef Carl goes back to his roots to reignite his passion for the kitchen and zest for life and love. It is the first headliner to kickstart the festival on Friday, March 7th at the Paramount Theater. Then there's The Immortalist, a documentary about two extraordinary scientists who struggled to create eternal youth with medical breakthroughs. Their goal is to cure aging or die trying. I really, really wish they would, you know, kind of hurry up and find a cure already for aging before I turn the dreaded 22 and am no longer 21. If I could stay 21 forever, that would be beautiful and amazing and I could rightfully shop at Forever 21 forever. And who doesn't want that? I do. The Immortalist premieres Saturday, March 8th at the Stateside Theater. Following that is Sequoia. This movie is about a woman who, with a deadly cancer who visits a, a national park with the intention of ending her life there. But her suicide plans are continually thwarted, not least of all by her family, which finds itself unamused with her death wish. Ali Mashaka, aka Keely from Soul of the Future, and Dustin Milligan star in the film. Following that is Only Lovers Left Alive, starring the beautiful Tom Hiddleston, and awesome Tilda Swinton. It's a story centered on two vampires who have been in love for centuries. Can these wise but fragile outsiders continue to survive as the modern world collapses around them? I would like to find out. Only Lovers Left Alive premieres Saturday, March 8th at Stateside Theater. And lastly, Stage Fright, a remake of the 1950s horror movie. It's about a snobby musical theater camp terrorized by a bloodthirsty mass killer who despises musical theater. This genre-bending R-rated horror musical is essentially Scream meets Glee. Wait, uh, I'm getting word from Master Control. Wow, uh, Ginny is yelling that I didn't mention Veronica Mars. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We have time for one more film on the list. Two words, Veronica Mars. Years after walking away from her past as a teenage private eye, Veronica Mars gets pulled back to her hometown, an ex-boyfriend with baggage and an unraveling murder mystery. Kristen Bell, Jason Doring, Kristen Ritter, Ryan Hansen, Enrico Colantoni, and Chris Lowell star. I'm excited that this long-lasting series is finally being made into a movie. Also, Kristen Bell. I hope for her sake and mine, a sloth will make a cameo. And that Kristen Ritter doesn't end up breaking bad and end up being the killer all along. Or maybe a sloth will be the killer. Yeah, no. Well, that's all I have for you, student speakers. Back to those.